students. In this video we're going to talk about designing the green roof portion of your library. Now the green roof has a number of components to it that we need to implement. We need some kind of grass based media, we need soil, we need a filtration layer, drainage, protection, roof barrier, roof membrane. So all these parts kind of come together to design it and because most of these do not exist in Revit, we're going to have to get a little bit creative with which materials we use or we have to create some custom layers. But first and foremost, what you need to do is design a floor that's going to act on your roof. So this is my green roof, and all I did was apply a floor to this area. You can tell right away that even though I put this on the second floor, you can kind of see the girders and the beams running across it. That's not a big deal right now because we're going to do some decent adjusting to this floor, and these are going to eventually cover those uh, that uh, protection or that support membrane that the roof currently has. So I'm going to click on my floor and let's go and edit this floor. I'm going to duplicate it first, call it green roof, hit OK, and we are going to edit the structure of this roof. The first two items we're going to need is some kind of grass and then some kind of soil. So let me actually insert two additional structures here and move them up to the finish of the floor. And now I'm going to edit them. Let's take a look for grass. Okay, and we do have grass in Revit, so we're going to use that as our first layer. I'm going to set it to probably two inches, so two inches of grass seems reasonable. And then we need to take a look for some soil. For our second layer, we do have soil, so let's use that as well and the soil is going to be a little bit deeper because we need to make sure the grass uh, can survive so let's set that to four inches and those are the first two layers next we need some kind of filtration layer we're going to consider that like an air based layer and then a drainage layer which is probably going to be based off of some kind of plastic material so insert two new layers and I'm going to move these ones into the core of the structure first one, like I said, it's going to be kind of like a porous layer, so let's, let's look for something air-based. We have an air barrier, let's use that. Uh, the air barriers are usually very, very thin, so I'm just going to set it to one inch so at least it's visible. And then we need something plastic-based to help drain the excess, excess water moisture from the roof. So looking at these plastic-based materials, I think just using a plastic or actually a formed plastic might be better because it's like it's been formed to meet the expectations of the roof. I like that. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to set that to probably two inches. And now we have the first four done. Next we have a protection layer. This is probably some kind of treated wood followed by some kind of roofing barrier and then the roofing membrane. So let's go and add those three. I'll insert one, two, three. And these are still going to be part of the core, but they're going after the two that we created already. So let me actually readjust these, going down and going down. Okay. So the first one, like we said, is the protection, then the roof, then the roof membrane. Okay protection. So we need some kind of treated wood like I said. Let's go to wood and we'll take a look here. I like this wood glue laminated. Laminated indicates that it probably has some finishing to it. So let's use that. Hit OK. Um, set that to probably one or two inches. Next we are going to add in our barrier. Let's type in the word barrier here and see what we get. Okay, so we have a number of air barriers. Uh, I like these moisture barriers over here. Let's use a vapor slash moisture barrier for that and set that also to one or two inches. And then last but not least we need the membrane. So that's going to be some kind of sheathing material. Uh, maybe some gypsum or something. So Let's type in gyp 
some wallboard over here hit OK and set that also to one or two inches I'll just set it to one and I don't think we need this one anymore so I'm going to delete that I'm going to actually move the gypsum down to after the core and there we go we have a multiple layered green roof we can check out the preview you can see all the different components of our green roof but if we hit OK and OK and then kind of click away you're going to notice the green roof actually turned out pretty nice. Those beams are still in the way though so I'm actually just going to click on our floor. I'm going to put a small offset of probably two or three inches and then hit apply and if you do that there you go. One green roof. So that concludes this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and I will see you for electrical. Peace.